Welcome everyone to the Beltway Battles. I am Red Dot. And I'm Push. Today we have a very exciting matchup today. We have two BO3s. The first one consisting of Temple University and Charleston University. And then that game will be a BO3. And following this we will be casting the Nova Nighthawks versus Old Dominion University at APM DST. Make sure to chat, uh, tune in then. But for now, let's get into this match here, yeah? Both of these games should be absolute heaters, so make sure you guys like that. Yep. And going into this best of 3-0, it looks like the map selection has already been decided. Temple University opting to ban Breeze and Vine, where College of Charleston is banning both Lotus and Split. How are you feeling about this map at right all? I mean, right now it seems like we're left for very basic maps. Some Haven, very meta maps, very just basic, everybody knows how to play them. So this series is going to come down to which team has your fundamentals mastered. Right, and... Agent select, it also looks like we have just very meta comps. Yeah. 
Right, I, I would agree with that. This is just a very standard jet, so like KO Omen KJ. But looks like Nikoli is playing with the idea of this guy, locks it in. So College of Charleston playing a little bit off meta, but we love to see that. I do have to comment, Honestly. if this goes to map three, we do get to see the sunset coming up. Ooh, the sky and sunset is going to be insane. But basically, all that leaves us is with the sky instead of the KO. It's a lot more fast paced. So I'm expecting Hush to see a lot more aggression on defense here from Charleston. Right, I agree. But you can also make a counterpoint that Sky has such great uptime and such good rechargeability that they can actually play so slow and try to drain the utility out of Temple University so like so much and just play very slow and then burst in the last few seconds of the round. It'll be a, a really interesting dynamic switch in Bullet. We can't really wait to see what really happens with them, how they play this comp. Well, folks, underway, our very first tester round of the Beltway Battles today. Seems like Temple University is setting up for a B execute. Seems very, very standard pistol round stuff. Uh, College of Charleston seeming to maybe be reading into this, leaning a little bit heavier into that B side. Very apparent focus on mid. It looks like they're going to go for a very early mid control. And now uh, the Silva of uh, College of Charleston walks away and throws B side. They're now more aptly prepared for this B rush coming. Oh my, this is a fast B hit coming out of Temple University. Oh, so you can stuck on site here. Death Hush is on. They're finally in lane. They're stuck on site right now. A clean execute clean out from Temple entry. University. Exactly. And now College of Charleston. Charleston. College of Charleston now stuck in this 5v3 situation. Getting picked off by Tiny as Nikolai. And this DT fight is devastating from Fletchy. The sub. Rest in the 1v5. I'm gonna say it's a little unlikely, and there it is. Unfortunate scenes. Our very first episode round going to Temple University, setting them setting them up very well for this attack side Ascent. As we all know, Ascent is a defense-sided map, um, leans towards that way, so getting this attack here with pistol round is very essential to get a good early half. And it looks like College of Charleston on this eco round, opting to play a very Gamble stack sort of way. They're all five on A site. Seems like they're getting ready to fight this A main. They have the Omen blind out. They have two people in A main. They're going to run it down. They have all four now. Blind is out. But Obviously, there's no Temple connection. University doesn't know this, but they have a three site right now. They're just going to be able to waltz their way onto B. Absolutely no contestant. Now, if we look here, College of Charleston just remaining in their five person death ball. It seems like they might split at this mid choke point. Jasmine being very aware of this point because their turret goes off. Jasmine doing well to get not caught off there. How will Temple fight off this five man point? It looks like they know. And they have all five people holding them. They do have the gun advantage, they have the smoke out, the shock dart from Ga Galax Waddle kills Akame. But a beautiful flash to get out. But it's just not enough, it's a flawless round out from Temple University. Absolutely nothing to worry about from Temple there. Clean round, clean flawless, setting them up for this bonus round. If Temple's able to secure this bonus round, they are set for pretty much the entire half. I need to see Charleston fight back here. Right, I, and... With the second round buy that they did, having three rifles into the mix. Granted, they're not Phantoms of Vandals, but Bulldogs are still quite the solid weapon. They're going to be really set up for this round. They're, it looks like they're going for the same tried and true B pop, but Culture Charleston, it looks like they they might be a bit more prepared for this, especially with the great weapon. Let's see if the Sylvain Code are able to actually work around this B team. I've seen it a few times. Tag going out. So they're running out CT. Stuck on site now, they have a flood. Oh, now at least in the 4v3 situation for Charleston. Jesse getting the bomb down, Jasmine getting another pick through. Temple just getting all of the fights and winning all of them. Gosh, so going crazy here. That's just a third round conversion from Temple University, setting College of Charleston back on an eco round. Now this As is rough. As said earlier, Hush, this is now a very rough situation for Charleston. 
It's right, like Temple University is just, like, they just have all of this money now, they, all of the bankroll, and they're so close to building up some very impactful alts. You can, uh, as you can see here, three, uh, four off the, no, I can't count, three off the Sova alt, two off this, uh, KJ. They're gonna get this, uh, both the monetary and, like, all economy rolling very quickly. Now, interesting kind of attacking style of announcement from the university, right? It seems like right now we are just deaf. Five minutes, right. eight, etc. Now, I need to see Charleston adapt to this gameplay, right? I need Charleston to be able to adapt and do something against Spike this, planted. because right now, is working absolutely flawlessly for time. Right, and you can you can put that to the teams, you can put that to the comp. I think this opting for the sky here might have actually screwed their defense a little bit, because they're not playing in that very, like, gather info and take space store style that sky is so good at. Rather, they're, it feels like they're really lacking that stopping power that KO can provide. Last player standing. Exactly. It's all down to me. Yes, we get the early info with the sky, but other than that, we're not able to play around it. All down to Nikolai and a 1v3, but not able to close it out. It's a fourth round for Temple. It wasn't as clean as they might like, but. Flawless. I mean. Yeah. Three alive, that's perfect. They'll, they'll be able to snowball this match now, leaving Charleston basically broke. And they have two big ults this on the line. Novel. They have the Kale Null Command and they have also the Killjoy this Lockdown. We might see an, a different idea coming out, but it still seems like Temple is just grouping and taking those uh, fast XX. They're very confident in their ability to Placing overwhelm the defensive side. The defensive side. Leaving Nikolai just on sight here for Charleston. Are they able to Oh, Temple University will have another free site. It doesn't even matter if many entries. It's just completely free. It looks Seems like, like Charleston College or Charleston is five many for a fast retake, though. Exactly. Have you seen the Nano in Heaven? Drone up out. into the smoke will get all of the information that they three. need. But we have Children like and Snowball for Temple University. Oh. I wonder if they use it here in the post game. Beautiful, a beautiful flash. flash onto Heaven. Gets rewarded with two picks, but Tiny doesn't move, even One full blind, even remaining. Omen Flash. Finally gets off of that position, but just playing so aggressive and just looking dire for College of Charleston here. In these first five rounds, Temple University's Jexy has looked absolutely phenomenal. I mean, 8-0 right now, 6 assists with the KOs, the flashes have been beautiful. Right now, Charleston has no answer for Jexy. And this is just College of Charleston getting knocked down back to another eco round. This time, opting for a more default hold. It doesn't seem like they're stacking for anything. Doesn't seem like they're doing anything aggressive. They seem a little bit shaken. They really need to find an answer to all of this aggression coming out from Temple University. It's almost as if we have no other setups on defense right now. It is the same exact setup every time. The only sky leaning for A is three towards B. I haven't seen anything yet. The lockdown getting destroyed actually allowing uh oh, sorry. Temple University I was still to main. Tiny is getting the entry. Charleston flooding out on the site that is not working out at all in their favor. Tiny getting the Every 3k. Every single pick Everything going is away. Going Temple their way. It is beautiful coming out of Temple University. I would love to see attack pause here, or attack timeout here from Charleston, something to pause the momentum. Just sometimes you need that way to just get a quick reset, get your head back into the game, try to figure out what's going on, what's going wrong, and how can you go about fixing that. But it doesn't seem that that's going to be the case. It now seems like. The yeah, that's patient coming out of Charleston. Moving their code right over to Ace Sunday. Maybe this is the key to solving their problems, but you can see. Honey running up with the dart with the flash and the knife, dashing out with the smokes. Akame getting spotted out is going to be forced off of that lane area. Oh, now, in back site, getting trades on site. It's a slaughter on B site. 3v3 post spawn. Will Charleston be able to get their first run on the board here with this prime opportunity for them? Way. It looks like Temple University is losing up lane. Yeah, destroyed. Deciding I do to go love for this, this push instead. Charleston and Sky opting to wait for the teammates to regroup. I, I do love that, giving 
showing some patience, being able to not over ascend. But all of the fights are just happening right now, and Temple is just too clean with their fights. They're just winning. Jasmine all playing of them. beautifully off the of Tiny's contact there, getting a free 2k so pretty questions. much. Being able to clean up that 3v3 post one, I mean flawlessly, right? Now, we, Charleston has Sovol, Jet Knives, and Omino, right? I need something coming out for them right now. Right here. If this game goes 0 to 8, I don't see a world where they're able to come back. How about you? Placing sentry. You know, it's really hard to say. As you said earlier, Ascent really is a defense sided map. It, it is statistically, it's in every match. Like, typically the defense is favored, and if they're not able to get uh, at least five rounds of defense, it, it is going to be truly difficult to get, make this like, series come back. It looks like they're not going to get their first series either. Tiny getting a beautiful entry onto the log player. Spike planted. It's just looking cool. To see if Walker May can do right something here. about this as Temple University is pushing spawn here. This looks like 5v3 retake turning into a 5v2, 5v1 now, and all of the fights are just again going the way of Temple. Yeah, America to Akame, and it is just not going on. Temple University putting an 8th on the what board say, in a flawless fashion. What do you think could be a solution? They're just. It looks like uh, College of Charleston is just shaken. Nothing much that they can even do here. Well, the first step, in my opinion, has to be calling a timeout here. Um, and I think this is almost absurd, not calling a timeout at this point in the game. We're down 08. I mean, we need something to stop Temple University's momentum here. Something. Well, that something might just be Akame getting the op into their hands. We know how strong this weapon is, but oh, it's just or it could be a curse down by on sight. No health, no use, still not able to get out. Omen just swinging heaven. This is just feels not looking good. It just feels de so desperate from Culture oh, Pulse. I mean, here. Maybe the cool dog's able to do something with Solo. It doesn't look like that. This looks as a Last player standing. Temple University is away. This is absolutely clean coming out of them. It's clean and clinical. My quiver is never full. How many follows rounds have that been so far? Four? Three? Four? I don't know. That's that's mm. simply absurd. They're just they're taking sight beautifully. They're getting picks. They're getting trades when they fall. There's just nothing going wrong for Temple University right now in College of Charleston. They really need to make something happen. It looks like they're grouping on this like mid B side. They're trying to like play hard counter into this XX style, but they're just gambled wrong. It's it's all down to Akame on site Akame once again. On site again, sitting dice, same spot they sat last round. Maybe they'll do something. They get one. They, they, they kick. Get... No. Oh. They kick it. Now setting up. Charleston for a beautiful Spike retake planted. here, if they can capitalize on it. Journey out from heaven will only swing because yes he does. Flashing outside the door. Where's he getting a beautiful pick? Getting two? Killed their owners. Last player standing. Beautiful 3v1 post point now. Will Nikolai be able to do something? They need to save their team right now, here and now. Gets the first. Leaves him down in a 2v1 post point. One enemy Gets the second. Oh, but cannot close it out. A beautiful attempt out from Nikolai, but Temple University just able to close that out. And I, I just want to note, that post-plant utility was beautiful there. Jexty doing a flash over top doesn't quite catch Nikolai, but it's set up for the double swing in A main. Beautifully done. Then they have the shock charge, the KO fragment to st uh, stall out time. And when it's all down to it, it's just a simply better put together from Temple University here. The duo of Tiny and Jexy coming out here is just absolutely phenomenal from Temple. You can tell they work on it extensively. I mean, the flashes are perfect, the post point utility is perfect, everything is beautiful. And I don't see Tiny from being able to stop it anytime soon. This is just another free site for Temple University. The smoke in Heaven missed a little, but maybe that's intentional to get Tachi onto this aggressive line. Missing just a few shots, having to drop down, but... That's just the site taking, that's the bomb down. There's nothing that uh, CFC can do about this. Planted. And he said it 
right out from three. Maybe Alchemy is able to do something with the dash block because absolutely nothing. Sky Seeker's coming out, Flash coming Nobody out. Yet. Can we use Killjoy right here? Debating on whether or not to use it. Or we too close right now. Leaving just Jexy and Tiny, the duo of the century. Getting one, getting two. One v two now. Jaxi, pulling out the shorty. Gets the first. And this Rain is time. beautifully done from Nikolai. They know that they just have the win condition on time. Nice and they just win out that round, getting a COC back onto the board. Unfortunately, it isn't enough. Charleston University getting their first on the board. Maybe this is the start of something. Maybe they can pull Last from the round depths before of the their switch. will. The Don't second round win here. Inception Last up chance to use our stuff. Maybe. I'd love to see some sort of reset in between halves, just some some time taken, some encouraging words, but uh, taken between the players and just getting that reset uh, through. But unfortunately, there's just not enough time as of right now. It's getting into the last round of the half. Again, Temple University just setting up for a five-man execute out a main, and CFC just Get doesn't look prepared to take that. Ahead. And Happy is running for it. Oh. Bulldog getting stuck on Psyche and he absolutely owned run. by Tiny there. Beautiful entry, popping the kill drill just for safe measures. They will have absolutely free heaven control now with the top pisted. I need to see the Nikolai, what? a flash or something, a dog or look something. From, look at Akame here. Look at Akame already on the flank. Looking to get something happen, or looking to get something done. Akame getting the pick, but it's just down to a 1v4. It doesn't matter, it's too late. Akame can get as many as he wants, but... He won't be able to deal with Tiny in the end, leaving the half 1-11. to In Temple University. Switching sides. Again, Maya Khan, Jexy's flashes. Again, beautiful. You saw it there, you saw it in heaven. There's just nothing that this person just can't flash with the correct timing, with the correct spacing. It's just beautiful out from them. Now, Temple University on the strong side. On the strong side of Ascent now. In an 11-1 lead, it looks like they're going to get aggressive in this mid area. Perhaps going for some sort of tiles push. As COC group up for an A main take. Maybe an A split here. It does look like Charleston is ready for this. They are not set up in B main right now. This will probably not get any value. Are they asleep? Maybe sending them up for their second round of the half. It does look like Charleston setting up for a cat split right now. Looking bottom mid. Will they go through this and test bottom mid? Tiny taking so much damage at the start of the round. Flash out from Nikolai. Uh, and Akame and Nikolai take this cat area. This is, this is fast. They're going to be able to get up this. Smoke coming through. Quickly. Smoke coming through. This is a fast tree split, but it looks like Temple University is ready for this. There's a util set. We have almost everybody on the A site now. Flashing out. Getting the first on the retake. Nice flat retake. Getting two. Getting three. Getting four. And it is almost a flawless round coming out of Temple University. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely clinical coming out from them. And that might have stopped this out for the rest of this game. Do you think it's over? It's down 12-1. CFC just I lost mean, pistol. They have no point. eco to work with. They have to make this round happen. There's there's literally nothing else. This it's is the map die. on the line. It needs to be a perfect rest of the game coming out from Charleston. And honestly, I don't see it happening. But prove me wrong. I would love to be proved wrong here. Please show me something. I agree. I would love to see something happen. Flashing B main, running Stop up, them. smoking fast, Charleston looking for a fast exit, will Galaxy be able to deal with this? They are running out, Jackie running out, flooding on site with Tiny, stopping the push, and a beautiful enemy. retake coming out. Tiny getting four, Defenders win. and he's absolutely flawless coming out. Cleaning up the game 13 to 1, only one round off of that perfect 13 0 score. That is. Uh, what do you think? Will second map look the same, or do you have faith? Oh, this is this is hard to say. It, it was it was really really hard to watch that match from Temple University versus College of Charleston. They were just Charleston was just getting stomped on that match. But I have a bit more faith for it, the second map of Haven, as it appears well, that it is College of Charleston's map pick. They're going to be starting on the attacking side. We know that's typically seen as the stronger side of Haven. 
let's uh we're hoping to see that going into that next map coming up soon it looks like we will most likely just go straight into the game i mean i can't wait for the second map hopefully i can see something coming out of charles and hopefully we'll be able to see some fight something but right now i mean temple university like you said it's just looking so clean it's just looking beautiful coming out of them so yeah you can watch their executes all day you know those are perfectly like just practice they're so well drilled you see the opening utility same every single time but the timing is perfect the omen blind to create the early space the ko knife to deny any uh, opposing utility the jet and the sova immediately following up with a ko flash it's just so beautifully done it's so it's so well drilled and that's really just down to the heart of ascent it's just whoever can make those executes retakes those sight holds more well drilled whoever practices them more whoever practices them better whoever can play off your team the spacing the trading making that better that's just going to decide us that haven it could get a little bit scrappier we can see college of charleston taking a few more rounds that way i do think we need to give credit to where credit is due as we said usually it come down comes down to the drills what team has their fundamentals on i think we need to give credit to temple university's coach lumi here i mean They've just done a beautiful job kind of shaking this team into like a beautiful ascent team and hopefully we can see the same thing coming out on Aven, another fundamental map of, in the game um but hopefully charles can do something i mean hopefully charles can, can like capitalize on temple university's new map i really want to see that map three i really want to see how these two teams play sunset i really hope we get there it would be an amazing upset after that first map if college of charleston could take away map two but yeah, I agree. I, I would say we have to give props. We have to give credit to uh, Temple University's coach here, Wumi. That was very well drilled. You can see clearly the work that was done by Wumi there to make sure that all of the players are playing off of each other, making sure that they understand what spacing, what timing, what utility they need to use. It was just beautifully done. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um... It looks like we will be going into the second map Haven coming in soon here. And I can't wait for another banger series. Hopefully, like you said, we get that map three. Hopefully we can see Sunset being the newer map in the pool. Seeing how these collegiate teams will be able to play that new map would be absolutely fantastic. I'm seeing I'm seeing a fade hover. I'm seeing a Phoenix and a Deadlock a hover. Deadlock. This, is, this is this is going to be interesting. The Deadlock locked in. Now, the Deadlock has a lot of interesting ideas. It Deadlock, generally not seen as that strong in the community. However, my, my personal opinion is Deadlock is really, really brilliant at setting up traps. Now, the slight issue that I'm seeing with Temple's comp here is that there's nothing really to capitalize off of said trips, right? The trips are like an automatic breach stun. You can contest areas very easily with them. But there's very little lethal utility. You typically expect like maybe a raise in pairing where you can throw a grenade, uh, like the paint shells on the trip as soon as they're activated. Maybe less so here that you have the Gecko Mosh, you have the Phoenix Molly, but it looks like the Gecko isn't even going to be in play here. It looks like Temple is just having fun. They're just messing around with different comps. I'm not even sure that they've even practiced this comp. I mean, choose your agent. It looks like to me that Temple has gained an unlimited amount of confidence from that you can say that again right? um charleston just going with a tried and true comp of having that breach having some sort of info and then just standard smoke standard duelist versus temple pulling out this very unique comp to say the least um i mean we'll see maybe that gives charleston an edge to kind of do something and like get back into this series but we can only hope right i agree I, what I'm looking for here, like I said with, earlier with Temple, I'm just looking for those utility combos on the side of Charleston. They have that, that like tried and true, that breach, that fade, that raise, that aster. They can make so many things happen. They can make so many traps. I just need to see that coordination there because on the sun, I hate to say it, but it really, it really wasn't there. It felt really shaky. It just felt very individualistic. Hopefully we can see that turn around on their map pick. Very interesting topic that I think we have to talk about here is Tiny Last Map. 
was playing it. Fantastic. Sound yeah. sensor up. Right. Getting almost every entry, almost 100% first kill success rate. And now they're switching over to the Omen. Listening. We will have to see if they can have that same level of impact they had on that first map, right? If they can get that same level of team playing coordination as they did on the jet. It's gonna be something to watch out for. Agreed. I, I, I can't agree more. It's just the Omen is just typically not seen as that sort of entry role. You can't really get the same things done. I'm just distracted by the fact that Temple has Arena. I hate Reyna. I can't. I can't stand <laughs> Reyna. Let's anyway, get off our pistol round. So Charles and University is fighting mid here, walking down mid, coming for maybe a fast beat. Maybe catching Penny off guard here. Penny preparing to stun. Phoenix ready for flash. Flash it out. But Jaxi is so far up. Roll. Look at the mini map. Look at Jaxi Jax all the way through there. grass. Jaxi is getting free picks here. Getting all of this info in the world. They know all three. One high, going for the knife. Oh remaining. no! Disaster. Tiny is able to absolutely clean up, getting a 4k on the pistol, cleaning up Jexy's mess there. That's all oh to answer God. your question, surely. If whether or not Tiny was going to get that same level of value, it does seem that is going to be the case. Uh, if it's at least the same as what was indicated in the pistol round, this is going this to is be a rough a, match. This is a sign for the rest of the game. As you said, this could be a very rough match for Charleston. But... It's okay. It is only the first round. Here. It's only been the first round. I still have hope. Let's, Let's see what Charles can do here. Sending for a fast A take. It looks like they will be running into the deadlock setup from the Galaxy. Phoenix on the side of Temple. Uh, University of Fluffy is just all the, the way through mid. Just Maybe fighting. Falling out in this window area. Getting two. And the smart decision to fall back. But Jaxi's all the way down the long. They have all of this space. They're absolutely just farming their eco. There's no respect to the show here. As well. They were not good There's enough. no respect. He's running it down. It is just... Temple University just called it. They want this it... game over with. They want this game done. They got more classes to attend. On a Saturday? That's... That's awful. I, I feel so bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> well... Right. It looks like... CFC, they need that. They got that reset in. They have their first buy round. I need to see something happen here. I want to see how they can take this space, how they can contest such aggression coming out from the side of the university. They have so many set pieces for it, and I just want to see it happen. They the have to realize like, oh. Temple is just aggressive, right? They have to be able to hold the space and they have to be able to frag out here. They have to fight back into Temple. They have to show some kind of resiliency here. You can see here, it's just, it looks like an A take. It's very well telegraphed to the side of Temple University. Smoke's already out, nothing quite happening on the site here. Fade Haunt comes out, and it looks like that is the key to start the hit. However, Akame calls for a pause, they're currently walled off. And now everyone on the side of Temple is here. The cold dog, though, getting the first pick into the round, all like just clean entry on the site. And one, trading off. Tiny getting second. Getting one one it's now down to a 1v2 for Jaxi. A little bit of whiffage. CFC. Able to get it. CFC being able to get that first round on the board so much earlier than the last okay, uh, game. Now so much earlier than the last map. In fact, this round is the confidence boost they needed. That last map, completely uh, behind it. They've already no. forgotten about it. Oh, no. But the time Ooh, out coming no. from Temple. Lumi's upset. Lumi didn't uh, tell them to play this comp. Lumi told them that if they lost a round, they would they would get benched. They will be doing their laps on Breeze later. I can tell. Jexy is not playing that right now ever again. They're going back into KO jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe this time out will secure another 15-1 for the rest of the game. But maybe it also gives a chance for Charleston to talk to each other, right? To kind of have a little bit of a reset here to kind of take a breath be like okay guys we got it we got our first round on the board let's get a second and then let's win this game out all right they need to be able to reset here and they need to be able to do something i'm going to be a bit biased i want i want cfc to win so badly just so we can see that song so i i want to see that next map and you know what with the cough that temple is playing they might want to see that too i would love to see the sunset 
And let's see what comps are put out. Maybe it's another Reyna comp. That'd be fun. <laughs> Reyna could be an interesting idea. I don't like Reyna, but Reyna is strong, is a strong character, has a lot of ideas. Just to get into the fourth end of this series, though. It looks like we're setting up a double mid push here. Maybe just contacting out the elf. Jaxi, which is walking up here. Really walking down able... with an Ares. Really be able to pick off Nikolai here. Getting flushed. Oh my gosh. Beautiful Nico coming out of breach. Traded from Fochi. Nikolai trading. Oh my gosh. Beautiful mid control coming out of Charleston. It was to spike. push off the aggression coming out from Temple. And it looks like they will reset into a sea take Now Temple here feeling aware of the pressure, hearing the fade power out. What is their decision? Do they they okay. choose to stay onto this side? They're ready to take this fight. Nikolai getting their second. Nikolai getting their third. This is a massive round for COC. Beautiful round from COC. Now it's all down to Galaxolotl on this deadlock, getting the first kill on Kanji Yuki. Beautiful shot. But there's... This is this is just going to be such a hard thing to take. There's so many crossfires set up. He's not trading it back. Oh, oh did I get no. And T from Ga Gla Galaxy. This is so <laughs> close, but Artemis is able to clean it up. All good. Charleston has nothing to worry about. Getting the second already doing better than the last game, so. Hopefully Temple we'll to down to an eco as well. This could be a third round unless Temple forces something out with their like utility with their alt. And one thing to note on from the side of Temple is that they have the Phoenix. The Phoenix alt comes back so fast. It's a six point alt. You can kind of use it whenever you want. It's just a free extra life. If they choose to get aggressive in this mid side, they could do a lot of damage. It looks like to me Charleston's adaptation to Temple University's aggression is just sitting back, waiting, and then taking main making. So we'll have to keep on waiting see it. Oh my god, it's the cool guy just running in, flash out, nobody there to trade. I mean, Small no doubt from the side of Temple University, when he appears to be <laughs> retiring the roster. The Phoenix ult coming out, but to no impact at all, getting shot through the smoke, getting shut down immediately. Tiny with the omen all in mid, just to get all of that information, spots out, I believe, three players. They know not to rotate, they know where the pressure is, where it lies. And now the round's gone quiet, it's gone slow again. 42 seconds into the round, CFC needs to make something happen, they need to poke around, find some vulnerability. And now it's just a waiting game. 30 seconds left. I mean... 5v4. Beautiful map control. Trochi not getting to stop swinging anymore because you have any help. Double flash. I mean... 15 seconds. Charleston can do anything. This is supposed to be a free round. This is supposed to be easy for them. This is supposed to be the third. But they can do absolutely nothing. Charleston getting all the fights off the side, but it's down to Last a 2v1. Oh, Jexy going huge remaining. four with a stinger and closed up by Tiny. I That's mean, a round that you can't afford to lose. For especially Charleston. after that last map, we know how easy it is for Temple to snowball games out of control. We can't be giving up that round to them, especially a thrifty round that should have been free, that should have been their third, but here we are. Now, I need Charleston to reset here. We need Charleston to bounce back. We need Charles to be like, okay, it's fine, we're okay, everything's Who good. They need to get their third on the board and actually contest Temple University. Let me tell Charles to take a timeout. Please, I beg. <laughs> now, Charleston, much more spread out this round, just poking and prodding, looking for any vulnerabilities, but there's nothing really given other than the AS site where Temple has just consistently been playing this solo deadlock setup. This wall in short and glass model just getting that value immediately picking off Nikolai. That was their upgraded weapon. That was their bulldog. They're going to want to recover that. Uh, Charleston need that gun to make something happen into this round. And just everyone scrambling over to the A site. Akame getting a beautiful pick onto Jexian mid. 
and now it, it seems there. like it's all but it's all but known they're they're out on ASI. Galaxy has to solo anchor this. It's gonna be a 1v4 here on site. Gets the first. Spike down A. Gets the oh, second. Four v two. No trades coming out from Charleston. I mean, this is just a severe contrast compared to Temple University's ascent gameplay, where their attack was drilled. It looked beautiful. It looked perfect. And then coming out of Charleston here. I mean, say if I'm wrong here, but there's no trades. There's nothing. It seems like the timing and spacing is just very. It's too rough. It's like. It's hard to watch the cool dog just go out every single time first. Just so confident. I I I applaud that confidence, but just wait a few I seconds, let your teammates we catch up, and then it'll make the uh, take so much easier. You want to play? Well, let's maybe play. Maybe Charleston is cooking something. Maybe we can see something come out of them. But I don't know how many times I can say that and still be there. We need to see something now. We need to see something here. Talking about getting ghost so well. mid, possibly looking for someone getting over eager, overstepping their bounds outside of the main line, and Charleston, yeah, nothing there. Charleston once again just playing for that heavy mid control, but nothing is given. You're, you're exactly correct with this double sentinel. They can just wall off garage and no, they're not taking that space in the first forty seconds. And the same thing with uh, the deadlock in A short. There's no way that they're getting past that wall without you knowing. This setup is just very solid uh, overall and just Here. allows so much freedom to move around from this uh, Jack, uh, Jexy and the uh, uh, Phoenix on the side of Temple University. Trying to get him. Spike down A. Flashed up. Galaxy trading. I mean, beautiful hold coming out from Tiny and Galaxy, setting them up for a 4v2 retake here. Akame 30 being seconds late. left. They might be able to post a heavy hit with a jungle off, and maybe get a free pick on Phoenix. Koji just trapped here. It seems like Temple University, they realize the rest of the week, they start walking out. Jexy and Koji closing out the round. Down to a 5-2. How many rounds do you think Charleston needs to turn this into a very competitive game? Make this very close. Make it so that they can win. Well, Haven is an attack side enough, right? We need to see something. We need to see at least five. We need to see some sort of stronghold on attack. So that gives us hope on defense. Yes, Temple University is running the double sentinel, but they also have double duelists, right? So it's going to be very annoying no matter what side you play. I need posted up on this long angle where everyone seems to be headed. Oh getting my that gosh. pick through the smoke. What a beautiful <laughs> timing shot. And now the entire attack of CLC is just solid out. Very little they can do. Tiny sat on top of that mid or top side box. And Jexy again, here. just walking they through. They know, they know everyone's dropped C long. It is just beautiful, beautiful run coming out. But that Nikolai getting the trade back on the pitch pick. Jasmine running down C long made that really impressive there. Spike oh, down. Good. We have Tiny. And Tiny is clutching up with this operator. Oh, right. Is it able to do anything? This is beautiful coming out of Temple. Absolutely clinical out of Temple. Just getting that early space, containing them absolutely. Just not giving College of Charleston any options. It just seems like there's nothing Charleston can do. It just seems like this map is already over. It seems like there's no fight, there's no comeback, there's nothing. I still want to see a timeout come out from here from Charleston, but I just don't think we're going to get it. They can still make something happen. They have three very impactful ults out on this round. They're, they can read this mid fight, but. Oh my gosh, a little bit of whiffage. It's a one for one. It's very. The abs are just counting nothing. That level comes through. captures the raise on the side of oh, Charleston. No. And this is instantly down to a 3v4. This is looking absolutely dire for Charleston. Oh, just caught. Fighting mid, tiny getting a big trading off. This is just beautiful. What is this? Getting what so aggressive. This? Oh no, that is. Headphone check? 
That is just so... That's just a disrespectful move on the side of no. <laughs> Temple. There, there's no Tiny. way they can pull something like that. If you see a team doing this, the game is just... It's just over. It's over. Washed. It's done. I mean, <laughs> it's done. I hate Anshi to Yuki has a Anshi Yuki has a chance to win this round, but it's going to need to be a 1v3 ace. Already I got two on the round. With the deadlock trips 30 seconds and left. Galaxy, who's been having an absolutely heater this series. No surprise. Oh, trips, getting bombed hitting the both trips. trips, getting bombed down, but and they can you get planted. it. Oh. They get the bomb down. Galaxalotl whips a little bit. Okay, okay, but, okay. <laughs> oh, Galaxalotl just playing with their food. Oh, that is. That is not something you enjoy seeing. That is. That is just um, a bit upsetting. Well, maybe you enjoy seeing it. it, it some people do. But that's. You are just... a fan of Temple University, then. This game is just setting you up for the rest of the night. I mean, happy days for the rest of today. Like, if you're a fan of Charleston, though, I don't Sound know. sensor up. It's a rough night. This is not looking well. I need. It looks yeah. like they're going to get set up for such an aggressive Why? play here, hey, teleporting on top of the box. Oh, this is actually such. This is actually a really hard play to counter for CFC because they haven't been doing anything for this long in terms of utility. And it's Tiny not doesn't even, even Tiny. Need, Tiny doesn't. Tiny doesn't even need to get the kill. Black Swan was just swinging out and fighting. Oh no! Don't peek it! Don't peek it! Please, no. Please don't. It's so close. Okay. But you can see the CFC here walking up this mid end area, Ooh. getting the pick on Jexy. Are they just going to commit to this new site? It looks like it. Breach all coming out, clearing out the site, but there's nothing on the site. It's just twice. Bochi getting the first double flashing. Really the pitch these guys inside. Justin getting second. Running up here. And you keep doing their very best to flank from the garage. Oh my god. Remaining. Last player Spike standing. Down B. The movement out from Nikolai After trying to stay gone. alive. It is a 1v1 I have the spike. between Tiny and Andy Yuki. Smokes death. Controller death. Who is the better controller? You can see both 30 players seconds left. aware of where each other can be. Just creeping towards the CT side. Bomb getting down from the side of Andy Yuki. Do they get we the wall out? Oh, oh, oh my god. doesn't go down. No. Oh no. no. Tiny. No. Oh no. no. Sure. Oh, not like this. That works? Not like that. That's... Tiny. That's just something that you don't want to see. That's... The, the amount of disrespect happening in this match. No. Is... That's oh just I God. I can't I can't handle I can't stand watching this. This is no. Uh, can someone tell CFC they have a timeout button? Please, please. I beg of you. <laughs> I'll call it myself. I'll go over there. I will go over there and call it myself. I mean, they're they're, they're just something needs Why to happen. Why are we calling it? <laughs> they they need they need something to. Convert at least around, get the momentum back into their favor. This they were doing so well session. early, but and he's just so far off. It's a three K. Last player standing. This is. It's all down to Artemis. All down to Artemis. One v three. This is doable. It's just, it's just three. I mean, oh. I mean, it's just. You know. CFC, they just, no, 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 no. they just need one more. No, 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 no. They just need one round. Right? One round. They just need one round. Yeah. Three, nine, three, Chris. They're gonna need a lot it. more than one round here, Hush. They're gonna need <laughs> one round in this last half. Nine, three, Chris. They can turn it around. Temple University. They need eleven roll. to hit thirteen. They haven't gotten eleven in the last two maps. Combined. Okay. Well, you know, at least a timeout would be beneficial to that. I think. <laughs> Eventually. This is tragic. It looks like CFC heading into a wide map spread default. They look like they're starting to contest this Why? Well, Why do we see the odd boosted down Ela? How is Tiny here? Tiny, uh, Tiny's so far off. Tiny's just getting My so aggressive. 
getting to wall and ulting out. To it's ulting oh, it's not spawn. even to safety. It's into spawn. Doesn't no. even get punished. He gets spotted. Blinding. He gets hurt, but it's not even punished. Blinding. 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 Artemis Blinding. getting that trade back out to Tiny, but it's just it's just over. It's down it's to Aniyuki. Just leave Aniyuki in a one v four. Can they do anything to save this game? No, they can't. Leaving this a ten to half. I mean, going up. We said it. Sides. Charleston needed five. They got two. This How many rounds? How many rounds? Lumi's calling the timeout for Charleston at this point. Okay, while we have this uh, downtime, how many rounds do you uh, think DMC needs to get back into this game? How many rounds do if you think they it can takes? Hit, if they can hit eight, I'll start believing. If they hit eight, I'm a Charleston fan. I'm down. You heard it here first? We need to hit eight? And now... Charleston can hit eight, this game is actually winnable. But if they can't, then... I mean... I will I say, it looks like there is some confusion on the side of Temple, calling out the timeout immediately just so that they can get some sort of game plan going with this comp. There is, I refuse to believe this is the comp that they normally practice, and this that is why the timeout is being taken. And maybe that could be an advantage for CFC. They get the, they take this time, get a reset in, they still have their timeout to potentially use further into this map. Um... <laughs> But with the way that things have going, been going, the spacing, the trades, the utility usage has been perfect on the side of the temple. So it'll be a really hard uphill battle to get to this the eight rounds that are set out by Red Dot here for him to start believing. Going into this pistol round, it looks like Temple is setting up for a big mid fight. Fochi having the flash out. Jack Steve being able to follow and three through window going to be contesting Akame here on top side. Doesn't get flashed, gets the first pick, just staying for a second. The TP a little bit late, but doesn't get punished. Maybe Akame is able to save this game. Maybe there's a little bit of hope. But as we know, Temple they has found won my trap. almost every single pistol round. I think they've won every pistol round. A bomb is down. down mid. A bomb is down mid. Right in front there. of B site. Tiny, Tiny's a really good one. Just able to get that recovery. No trade coming out from the side of Akame. Oh, coming through garage. There's so many holes. There's so many gaps. This, this is hard to. 3v3. This is hard to watch. It's a 3v3, but it I feels like a 5v1 on the side of the Temple. Just, just with feet. how much. Just how Fuji much control they have. Himself. Akame getting stuck on site here. Isn't able to get one. Wine coming out. They know they're committed to over the B side. And oh Yuki God. being able to close it. Smoke and the team <laughs> killed to end the run. Here, here. Oh no. The best. You know, any of you they got the round. That. That's what matters, right? Surely, surely that's what matters. That's what matters. They got one. We're able to snowball this game now. We are able to snowball this game now. If they can win the second and win the bonus, there is a chance. There's an opportunity for them to win this game. There. It just needs to be swift and it needs to be quick. Oh, it seems like Temple's just grouping up for this fast garage hit. They're just looking to death ball through all of the space. Taking first contact and deciding to run away. They're pivoting here, leaving Galaxawaddle just to work mid on their own while three people walk A. No, Galaxawaddle opts to head back to A as well. And CFC, you can just see they're not budging. They're just sat on C side. They're leaving Aniyuki just to solo this side they're not really taking any space not getting much valuable info finally getting the rotate out this is a beautiful but is it too late from temple there's only one person on site i need to see temple committing here and if you please don't pulling them in what well, committing to suck in detroit they call like, getting that one shot though beautiful opening shot nikolai here make this a 4v5 retake what can CFC do here? They have gun advantage, they have man advantage. The only thing working against them right now is just the time. They have smoke in heaven here. What can they do to make this retake happen? Why do you have to see Oh, just running out. Just running through. Why can we get in a second? 
A 2v1 now for the side of CFC. This can just. Oh, it's please, so messy. Please, please, it's so please. messy, but CFC closed it out. It's, it's a 10-4 scoreline. Maybe there's hope. Maybe there's a chance. If CFC is able to win this round right here, right now, I think there might, there might be a chance. There's a world. If they get this fifth round on the board, they're back in the game. You might start believing before the eighth round. But I don't think Tempo will go down without a fight. Agreed. Tempo and... will fight back strong. And they looks like they're coming back to their tried and true pattern and strat of this five man death ball. Right, and if you look here, it's just the gun advantage is in the side of Tempo. It's just with two people surviving that last round of, with CFC, two people buying marshals, it's hard to imagine that they're going to get one. Akave just fighting, just, just being so greedy and just not pushing out. Dragon's gonna go crazy! But the judge from Nikolai gets two! And now it's equalized to a 3v3. Artemis yeah. oh. getting picked off 3v2 now, post one situation. Getting the plank down from Jasmine. Or, yeah, getting the plank down from Jasmine here. You going for a safe How does Tempo play 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 play. Last player standing. I mean, yeah, they can't. The they can't, they're so split. The cool dog just taking a solo fight. They need to win these fights. It doesn't matter. Jaxi is just able to get this beautiful Kalike on the round, securing the 11th for Temple and securing one round closer to that 13th score. CFC finally able to get a rifle buyout on this defensive side. So far, it has looked a bit more promising than their attack side, I would say. They do have money for the op. Akame did show that for a second. Doesn't seem like they're committing to it. But I, we need to see what they can do here. Akame looks like they're setting up for a fast mid-fight, whereas Temple is just going back, doing the same thing they did last round. They're just it's fighting. Phoenix Hill coming through, flashing out, double flashing, double random flashes. Artemis what stuck can Artemis do? gets the first. It's beautiful. I mean, Charleston can't do anything about it. Maybe this double flank the can be promising. But it doesn't matter. Temple's just so far pushed up. They can't get any value off it. And ah, he's gonna play off it. Oh, Jesse Jesse's begging for the ace, but Glock Waddle closes it out. Jesse just wide swings long, get a fork, get the fork in, he's cleaning up the round for Temple there. I mean, it was beautiful. 12 4 scoreline, CFC down to the last bits of economy that they have built up in the last four rounds. Very little of it left. They're, this is going to be a hard round for them. CFC, one saving grace, they do have the Torn of Force out, they do have that chamber all out. They're going to be able to control all of that A1, but it doesn't matter. Temple's not headed there. Temple is just, again, death falling towards that C1. I don't think there's anything Charleston can do about it. They're gonna try to set up a fake season. Sun comes out, the tether comes out, the nade combo. is deep, but no utility getting your kill. It's just Nikolai swinging and getting that headshot. But they're just getting a little bit over aggressive here, getting that pick out onto Artemis. That is not I'm something not you like to see. Charleston flooding onto the seaside, but Temple aware of this resetting. No, Charleston and Wiglos, they're just, Teleport they're going everywhere. They're running around the map, just sort of blindly because they don't have that info anymore. That fade, you that integral piece, that information has just been picked off. And now it's back to a 4v4. There's nothing that they can do. Yes, Temple is trapped. They're getting the picks, but they're just able to fight their way out of it. They don't put Nikolai here though. Standing. But Jasmine is able to just trade that back and it's a down to a 2v1 again. They know Inayuki's here. They're just gonna run to A, oh my god to A, and it's over. They're gonna get this plant down in a 2v1 situation, and Yuki's gonna have to save the game. I mean save. 30 seconds left. This is series and game point from CFC here. Plant going down, and Yuki just not aware of it. They're just so paranoid about where the all could be. Finally looking towards that A side, they finally realized that that was an option. A guardian and a dream. Tiny but is playing in heaven. And Yuki, 
just looking for any isolated 1v1, they have only their Guardian and their ult to work with, but it's just going to be so rough. They need this first pick to make something happen. Seems like they spot out Tiny, but there's just nothing they can do. They're working against the time. There's no much. No, oh my gosh. They get two, but there's just not, not enough time. It's a GG. That's it. Attackers win. More competitive game out from COC, but just not enough to take it over the line. It is a clean 2-0 from Temple University. And that'll I mean, be it for today's match. It was beautiful. It was beautiful coming out of Temple. Beautiful gameplay. Beautiful team play. Nothing Charleston can do really about it. I mean, some star players we have to talk about is Tiny and Jesse. Like we said, the first map, beautiful duo, beautiful flashes, beautiful team play. And yeah, there's nothing much more we can say about it. I, I do have to say, I'm just a little bit disappointed in Charleston just because there was no timeout taken. It felt like the adaptations just really weren't there. The spacing felt off, the entrying was a little bit rough. It felt like some players were just getting overzealous, just like getting a little bit too bloodthirsty tunnel vision. But those are all things that are fixable. Those are all things that can be looked back on, improved on. And I have high hopes for Charleston going into the rest of the Beltway Battles. Speaking wow. of the rest of the Beltway Battles, there's still one more match going out to happen later today, 8 p.m. EST. Make sure you're there. It will be Nova Nighthawks facing off against the Old Dominion University. That's going to be an absolute banger of a match. I can't wait for it. Make sure you guys are there. But other than that, it's been an awesome first series of today. Me and Hush will see you guys later. And yeah. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, all.